Okay, so this marks a relatively remarkable day to a certain extent because the Kusa composite flooring at roughly $200 a sheet, by the way, um, is, is here waiting for install. I just picked up the top floor, okay, which is this. Look how incredible that looks. Look how awesome that looks. That's what your floor is going to look like. Ooh, just dripping with cool. And the guy said in the 23 years that he has worked for that ultra flooring, he has never ever seen anybody put a white floor in. This was a first. And I says, well, he goes, don't you afraid of it getting dirty? And I'm like, no, I'm not. Because you know what? I have white floor in my house, white 12, uh, 24 inch tiles. And it looks amazing. Anyway, so here's the next part of the build out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tread very carefully here because I don't know where is safe to walk. But okay, let's see here. What what you're looking at, okay, is um, what you're looking at is the uh, is the template that I've made. And what I decided was a smart thing to do was to create. Uh, a template of every look at that oopsie I put my foot in it literally uh, I made a template of the entire perimeter as closely as I could right I will add uh, uh, let's say an inch and a quarter to to the perimeter inch and a half maybe depending and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have two pieces at the ends unlike the seaming that goes across that I see a lot of, which I don't like. Um, so this template is my uh, way of, um, see how close everything looks, you see? No, I just, you know, I, I just did tape. Of course, it's not, it's not perfectly along here because, you know, it's not uh, exactly you know, but when I stretch it out and everything, it, it goes right to the edge. So I'm going to um, lay this out on my. Uh, I'm going to lay out my my flooring pieces, and then I'm going to trace an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, let's say, around the outside, and uh, cut accordingly. Now the good news about that, I mean, there, there's ways, there's tools, there's a way you can get a pen and, um, you know, you can have two, two pens, you know, um, joined by a stick or whatever, and you just draw around the perimeter, you know, it'll draw your shape. But I found, believe it or not, they're not exactly the same, like that curve and distance here believe it or not, is not the same as this curve here, which I find amazing because I thought for sure it's just, you know, it's, it's a perfect shape, but I don't know what it is, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not the same. Um, it's, uh, I'm not going to say it's off, but they're just not the same. When, when I folded them together, um, I was amazed that they're just not the same. So let's hope that I measured correctly. I measured a bunch of times. And, um, you know, one can always trim a quarter of an inch off if one needs to. The idea being, though, that the flooring edges are not going to be that complicated the way they've created them. Um, they've cut them. I mean, I'm talking three quarters of an inch. That flooring is spectacular. Whereas if you go to a wood supply, a lumber house, Home Depot or wherever, you're not going to get exactly three quarters of an inch. It's going to be slightly under. So um, given that information, let's see uh, how this works. But the good news is we are having no wood in this trailer. No wood at all. This thing you could literally dunk under water. If it wasn't for the electronics... This thing is going to be essentially waterproof. So I'll give you a quick look around at what I did to create that. The tanks. And this packs um, 
plumbing, by the way, if anybody's curious about PAX plumbing, it's very simple to do. There's a tool that does it. But there's also a new way of doing it where you don't even need the crimping tool. It's a different kind of uh, plumbing system now, even more updated than PAX, which has been around forever. And that they sell you this incredibly expensive crimping tool um, that probably cost them $2 to make. And you can find them for 100 bucks. But uh, basically, that's it. That's, that's how I'm dealing with it. Um, I haven't really done much with my, um, with my plumbing uh, because the next stage is to pull out this subfloor underneath here, right here primarily, and get these tanks out of here, really go through them, clean them, disinfect them, make sure they're, they're watertight, make sure they don't need repairs. If they need a repair, they're going to get replaced. And uh, that's pretty much it. So the good news about this trailer is that it was hooked up to, um, to, to shore power and to an actual um, house. So the, uh, your black water tank and your gray water tank were wide open and there was um, a feed coming in of water and electricity, obviously. And it went straight out into their sewer. So this was just used as a pass-through. There was no holding of any kind which was, I think, awesome.